Hi there, this is Rick. Uh, today we're going to make a search helicopter. Uh, so first thing I need to do is make the sky a little darker and remove the fog. So I'm just going to adjust the time to one hour. Remove the fog. Alright, let's call in the chopper. I'll show you how to do this just now. Ignore the police car. Notice the helicopter pauses at the waypoints. And you notice it's got a searchlight. Okay, so that's basically the process. Let me get rid of the chopper. And I'll show you how that was done. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create a chopper. In this case, I'm using a, an orca. And um, I stuck a pilot on the outside. Pilot's got a little string. So basically, the first instruction when this object is initialized is mo this moving driver, pack heli. This particular object is called pack heli or PH1 pilot. And this vehicle is called pack heli 1. So just moves it into the pilot's position. Engine is switched on, runs it in the non-scheduled environment, and it says while the uh, pilot is alive, do the following. Uh, pilot action, switch on the light on pack heli 1, and then it sleeps for you know, 0.001 of a second. Um, the reason it does this is to keep the, keep the light on, you need to repeatedly process this action. So if you just do it once the light will come on and then you'll switch the light back off. So essentially it creates a, a permanent light on the helicopter. Okay so then um, create a waypoint. 
I want the pack heli to fly in slowly, so I've set it to safe, and I've set the speed mode to limited. Nothing else on the initialization on the on the waypoint. I don't want this uh, helicopter to start moving until I trigger it, so I just synchronize the trigger to the first waypoint, uh, which is a move waypoint, and. Um, the condition of the uh, trigger being activated is called heli start and I triggered that from the laptop as you remember and then when the trigger is activated it basically forces the helicopter to fly slowly um, or limit its speed to 40 kilometers an hour so um, it passes these two variables to a spawn an unscheduled environment Heli uh, equals this select zero, so this select zero is that. So the heli equals that. And the speed, the select one is that. And then it sets a variable to uh, s slow equals true. So this is useful because you can toggle this process by setting s slow to false. We'll switch this loop off. Um, and then while a live heli, while this helicopter is alive, and that variable equals true, air slow equals true, uh, then do the following. And basically just it, it limits the speed to 40. So um, the helicopter flies in on its waypoint, gets to this waypoint, nothing special about this except for the completion radius. The reason I use the fairly large completion radius is because I'm trying to get the helicopter to fly in a relatively small area and I don't want it to constantly have to turn 90 degrees so this smooths out the the uh, flight path slightly so uh, when he gets to when he gets to this waypoint he runs a little statement which is really simple pack heli one say 3d give up which is the sound file you heard distance uh, is 250 uh, 250 meters and i think the last one is the frequency oh the pitch yeah so so just it's that standard pitch one you can obviously turn the voice into a chipmunk um, or Darth Vader by adjusting your pitch. Uh, not that you'd really want to do that, but anyway. So pack heli, say 3D, give up, blah blah blah. So that that basically means that this sound file should will be heard potentially up to 250 meters away. In reality, I don't think it really uh, this really works too well. But anyway, um, so he says give up. Then he flies off to this guy. Oh, importantly. As I mentioned earlier, that he pauses at these waypoints, and this is very important. Um, you know, this is a seven-second delay here. So, if you don't put a delay on these waypoints, the helicopter will continually fly. And it seems like because of the way, say, 3D works the di the distance out from uh, from its target. Normally, I'd say from two. But it seems that if you don't pause the helicopter at a specific point, it doesn't create or calculate its specific position relative to other objects, and so you don't often often it will refuse to play the 3D sound. So I just pause it, which makes it kind of look a little bit more realistic anyway. So give it a seven second delay. After second seconds, seven seconds, it's already worked out its local position and it calculates the attenuation of the sound so then it like flies off and it makes its speaks flies off to the next waypoint gets to this waypoint exactly the same thing pauses for seven seconds flies off to that so this is probably the easiest method is just to move um, give it a completion radius which is a little bit bigger than the actual physical waypoint itself so that it can fly anywhere into this point and consider that completed and it's so on and it just keeps re uh, repeating that process because it's in a cycle and notice that when you put a cycle waypoint down 
you can move the cycle waypoint to any position that you want so you could get him to cycle to that position so you would just do this bit secret is not to take it too far away so you do see that it joins to the waypoint that it's going to cycle to and that is basically how it's done so it's extremely simple maybe the last thing i'll show you is uh, how i call that how i set the variable so um if I go to this waypoint, I mean this waypoint, this <laughs> this laptop. In this laptop, I've got an add action, uh, and it just says um, call search heli. This is heli one start equals true. Not surprisingly, so when this variable is true, the other trigger is going to fire. And then there was a, a second add action on this laptop, and it said uh, remove the search heli. And, and this is a bit of a hack because it basically just deletes the heli and the occupants just fall to the ground. Um, so uh, they die. So basically, if you look back at this, this waypoint will not be active until if you right click on here and set, and set the activation of this waypoint, set waypoint activation on that, sync it to that. This waypoint won't become active until this condition is true. This condition was heli1 start. So as soon as I set the heli1 start on this add action, when I ran the add action, it basically set that trigger to true, the waypoint became true, and therefore the helicopter came in. So I hope this is of use to you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.